This video will be explaining how to make your own PVC pipe walker for the pediatric population. So the list provided is pretty extensive. It's going to be anything that I used throughout this project, as well as the materials I bought at local home improvement stores. Here are extra pictures to show you exactly what I bought in order to create this walker design. So this project costs roughly $100, and actually the mower wheels were the most expensive part. They're about eight to nine dollars per wheel so if you found a replacement that was not only lighter but less expensive it would definitely cut down your cost so this design was based on the dimensions off of a nimbo walker i first started off using the dimensions for an extra small which is 20 by 24 by 19 inches so i started off by measuring and cutting out pipe lengths for both one inch diameter and half inch di diameter. And prior to this, I also measured out the lengths um, estimated by the dimensions of the Nimble Walker to save money. So the idea behind this design was to create a more durable but lightweight walker for younger children to be able to push over level and even low level barriers like uneven ground and um, short thresholds. So the larger wheels accommodated for that, as well as an external shell using the one inch diameter pipes. This was large enough to house the one half inch internal PVC pipes and actually created the legs of the walker and also made it an adjustable walker to um, adjust as a child grows. So the one inch shell is also small enough in diameter for small hands to grasp, but I also added extra handles that um, point inward and those are half inch diameter um, for smaller hands if needed. So that's another part you could cut out of this design to make cheaper. And I used the trap pipes in the list at the beginning to create a curve for this adaptation. Here is the bolt system. I made sure that the drill bit obviously fit um, to go through the 90 degree elbow at the legs. This bolt is about five inches long um, to accommodate for the width of the wheel plus bolts um, plus moving through the elbow. Next, I measured out nearly one inch spaced holes for the adjustableness of the legs. And I made sure to pick a drill bit that was close enough to the round lock pin diameter. So I also moved the drill around a little bit for extra space for the bolt system um, and the pins to accommodate for the rotation so things wouldn't get stuck. And I did mark multiple holes on the external shell here, but I only ended up drilling one hole um, near the bottom to just be more efficient. So after drilling my holes in both the elbow and each leg, here is my lock pin, which easily adjusts over um, and is easy to take in and off if you're an adult. It would be hard for a child to do that. And as you can see, it's in there pretty well. Make sure you do a dry fit of all your parts. Here I noticed some rougher edges, so I made sure to put these on the insides of the couplings. And this is where I noticed the crossbar was way too long. So I ended up using a handsaw to cut it down and make it more ergonomic. Um, also, so that it could fit through a doorway because it wouldn't before. Um, so that changed my dimensions a bit. So always do a dry run. Also, you can mark the angles of attachments when you do this dry run with a permanent marker uh, before you glue them up because the cement glue dries super fast. It only allows about 10 seconds for adjustments. And during the dry run, I also had to use a wrench to get things apart. So that's why I put it on the list of materials, just in case.
Now I'm putting together the bolt system of the wheels. So basically it was a five inch bolt with a washer and a stop bolt. The stop bolt is super important for the pediatric patients because if you use a regular bolt, that thing could come loose and pop off and be ingestible. So I made sure to grab stop bolts specifically um, for that reason. So getting to the end, you're gonna use your cement primer, the purple stuff, and the cement glue. Put two layers of both. The purple stains hands, so use gloves and a drop cloth of some sort. I used some old cardboard boxes. Another thing to note, I did not glue the crossbar in, and this was for transportation purposes. So I purposely did this in order for a parent to easily take apart this walker um, and just throw it in the back of the car or throw it in the trunk real quick. So finally, you can throw your pieces together. Um, you can use the ground as a level before it all dries. The final dimensions ended up being 22 by 22 by 20.25 inches. And when you take the wheels off for transportation purposes um, at the crossbar, the wheels have a width of 7.5 inches. So the total cost from the home improvement store was about $96, so a little under 100, like I said earlier in the video. Um, additional ideas to spice it up would be to paint it bright blue or bright red with spray paint. That would be pretty cool. Although my purple primer accents and my patriotic stamps are pretty nifty as well. Thanks for joining and keep exploring what the world has to offer.